Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set up a non-persistent independent disk in VMware Workstation so that way when you have somebody make changes to a, a virtual disk and they shut down or restart the virtual machine those changes will not be saved so it's good if you're using these for like a you know multiple people or multiple users use the same computer and you want to have the same image every time somebody logs on and you don't want to have them save files on the desktop or install software or anything like that so what you want to do with the VM off is go to its settings and go to the disk. I'm going to do this on the uh, system drive which has Windows on it. So you could do this on like a secondary drive and just allow it so people can't uh, remove or add files to that disk. But we're going to do it so nobody could do any changes on the system at all. So from here, I'm going to click on advanced and then check the independent box and then check non-persistent. And then we will start it up and be right back. Okay, so they got the VM turned on. So I'm going to uh, download and install this uh, free 7-zip program just so we can see what happens after we reboot here. So I'll just download the file. So it's right there in my download. So let's run it here real quick and install it. Okay, so it says it's installed, so if we go to our all apps here, we have 7-zip. And while I'm here, I'm going to uninstall the uh, utility that we use to install the uh, Quick Launch Toolbar for Windows 11. So we have a video on that if you're interested in seeing how you get the Quick Launch Toolbar back. So that's Explorer Patcher, so let's uninstall that. Okay, so that's gone. So the Quick Launch Toolbar is gone. So let's go ahead and reboot and see what happens here. Okay, so let's log in and see what happens. All right, so right now we can see that the uh, 7-zip icon is there. The Quick Launch Toolbar is back. And if we go to our programs here, the 7-zip is not on the list. So that shows us that um, this computer was set back to the way it originally was um, before it was uh, changed previously. So anything we do is going to get reverted back to the way it is right now. So I guess if you want to use this, you should get your virtual machine kind of dialed into the way you want it to be before you enable the uh, non-persistent disk. And then once again, I'll show you where to do that in case you forgot. I'm advanced. Check the box independent and then non-persistent. So like I said, just you know, get it the way you want. Check this box and then uh, if people log into it, they can make changes, do whatever they want. And then once it's rebooted or shut down and turned on again, then it'll be uh, back to the way you had it configured to begin with. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.